So this is the uh, Fort Vancouver National Site. It used to be a hospital back in 1904. And this is what you call the Fort Vancouver National Site. We're out here in Vancouver, Washington, and we decided to come here and show you guys a glimpse of Fort Vancouver National Site. This is the hospital, post-hospital, when people get hurt or they come here for treatment. We're on the back side, and over here, you have the Fort Vancouver Barracks. This is where a lot of your soldiers stayed at during the time in Fort Vancouver. Very nice. Mr. Wade here. We are now here at the Fort Vancouver area over here in Vancouver, Washington. Now, it's almost dark over here, so we're going to give you what we can give you as far as the fort, the history of it. Uh, we rode around, we looked at it. A lot of things you're going to see, we're going to drive by because it's very quiet over here. And hopefully we get a lot of views for you guys to see. So we are now at the historical site. We are trying to get all we can. So stay tuned for a lot more from Tombstone Whispers. I'm Mr. Wade and Mrs. Crime. We're now at Fort Vancouver National Site in Vancouver, Washington. Stay tuned. This is the Red Cross building at Fort Vancouver. 1919, the Red Cross building here, E.B. Hamilton Hall. This is where they patched up all our soldiers back in that time. As you see, we're walking over here to see what this is right here at the Fort Vancouver area. This is a Red Cross building that I showed you guys was complete maybe a minute ago. It breaks down the Red Cross Convalescent House following the nation's entry into World War I. American Red Cross was authorized to construct convalescent, convalescent houses adjacent to military hospitals. Wow. This is the artillery barracks. Wow, so much history here at Fort Vancouver, out here in Vancouver. This is the barracks of all their armory and everything. Very nice. As you see right here, it says, Fort Vancouver National Site, artillery barracks built in 1904. This is the huge intersection out here in Fort Vancouver. The street interchanges to another side of the um, actual fort. It's huge, very, very, very nice to see. There's a lot of history here.
over here you have the motor repair shop built in 1919 very nice the motor repair shop Right now, there's an open uh, place for all the old homes, I guess, like uh, military type homes that are out here it's along the barracks historical route. So we're gonna check this out. Stay tuned. So we are now at the Fort Vancouver area uh, near some historical, uh, this is crime right here. We're at a historical site on the back side of the barracks and the actual fort. It has a lot of people walking around that's checking things out. So me and Mr. Crime decided to go over here and check this out to see what's going on. The walk in history, right? All right, stay tuned for a lot more. Wide open range here. So these are the houses that we're trying to go by. You see the brief history. We have each one laid out in a brief uh, thing about it right here. Stay tuned. So right here we have this thing called the First Neighborhood. Fort Vancouver's village, the region's first neighborhood, as you would recognize one today. Most houses were a single with one earthly floor built using French Canadian construction. Methods known as post on seal and post and guard. They were roughly aligned in rows with recognized roads running between them. Some also had fences. The neighborhood was a complex of company buildings where some villagers work. Right here you have all the labels, servants buildings. What that's about, and you have the corral, everything. This is a whole area that we're standing in the middle of in the Columbia River, right there. The first neighborhood in Fort Vancouver National Historic Site. We're gonna go over here to check this out real quick. Stay tuned. So now we're coming on to one of the houses in the neighborhood, first neighborhood out here. We are walking up onto it right here at Fort Vancouver. Wow. I don't know if I can really see inside this thing, huh? Kind of dark in there but this is one of the first homes in the neighborhood that's how they were built like this and there's a neighboring one right there that one's closed off for some reason hmm so this is the back of the house here side view chimney that's how the first houses look back here in the barracks. Wow. So we are now coming onto another one and this house says keep out. So apparently people have been in this one. 
birthday too. The neighborhood of character. As you see here, they got like a portray of family staying here. Uh, the village consists of 40 dwellings placed in regular order on each side of the road. Even construction. There were also stables. Wow. Several yards enclosed with fences, gardens. A neighborhood of character here at Fort Vancouver. This is the house right here. As you know, they all look identical to the one here. So many of us did. It's like buying a regular track home in the neighborhood. All the houses pretty much look similar. Three different styles. They skip each, each one here and there. They're pretty much the same. So this one here says keep out. So apparently it's with somebody up in there. Maybe somebody staying in there or broke a window to get in. They have uh, coverage as far as the rain. Wow. So there's different areas here that consist of these homes right here at Fort Vancouver. Um, the house across the way over here is adjacent to that one. Um, this one here, of course, they keep out. So this was a brief historical uh, walkthrough of Tombstone Whispers. We thought it'd be a little something different to come here and see this. Um, hope you guys enjoy the historical views of this place. I will post dates. I will post different things about the Fort Vancouver. There's also a whole other area that we haven't even been to yet. And uh, one day we will come back out this way to view that. Stay tuned. Fort Vancouver, the London based Hudson Bay Company. That was the guy we did a brief video about maybe six videos back. We did a video on this. The guy that owned the Hudson Bay. They moved this house over to that area. As you guys can recall that. This is all due to him. He had the Hudson Bay Company. A lot more to come. So we walked up the bridge. And it has different Indian tribal names that are around this uh, Indian uh, celebration area, what they call that. Not to be disrespectful, but all the names here. Very nice. goes on and on it actually ends up crossing uh, freeway uh, Fort Vancouver and if you look over here closely you see the I-5 bridge here that connects Vancouver over to Portland Oregon This talks about the Columbia River Trade Network, the Native American Solomon Fisheries. Then you have the Columbia Basin back Basketry. Very nice. Then over here you have the Willamont River, all over here. The Columbia River, they call that. Oh, that's the Columbia River. Hope you guys enjoyed this brief video on the Fort Vancouver over here in Vancouver, Washington. There's a lot more that we did not have time to explore, but we got a little bit to show you guys the taste of Fort Vancouver here. I'm Mr. Wade and Mrs. Prime. Enjoy more footage of different videos to come from us. Thank you to all our subscribers. A lot more to come. Until then.